You've been sending your questions in thick and fast to our Facebook page and there's some really challenging problems. And these were my favourite from this week's The Garden Guru's live session, which is held on Monday morning. So Darren is in Brisbane and he wants to know a great recipe for, well, a homemade natural weed killer. And there is one that I use in my garden, so let me share it with you. This is what you're going to need. It doesn't matter what type, the cheapest type of vinegar you can get. You want a litre under normal circumstances and you want a good cup of salt. Now, the salt goes into a bowl. I've actually only got a 250 ml sprayer, so I don't really need that much, but you pop it in. All you do is then dissolve the salt into the vinegar. Once it's done, I'm going to pour it into the sprayer and you go around and you spray over the top of the foliage of the weeds. Now, the way this works is it gets in and it literally dehydrates the weed. That has got to be one of the most effective ways to control weeds naturally in your garden. Amanda from Perth has written in with a question that anybody who lives in Melbourne, Adelaide or Perth will probably be experiencing at the moment. You see, we've had long, hot, dry summers in these cities and what's happened with our indoor plants is we've started to get dry pockets in the soil. And the first thing that happens is ants come in because they know the winter's not far away. So as soon as rainfall's on the move, they come in, they look for dry pockets and they start nesting in your pots. Now, she's wondering if there's some way to treat them, some kind of chemical, but I'm going to suggest you don't do that at all. What you want to do is get yourself a nine litre watering can with wetting agent in it, all right? Mix it all up, pop it in there, and then just drench the pot. Now, this is exactly what the ants hate. So don't kill them, just get them to move on. Now, our next question came from Glenn from the Gold Coast, and it's a ripper. He's growing blueberries, and he's got a problem. All the foliage is starting to turn yellow, and there's little green veins sort of standing out. Now, this is a very common problem, and it indicates a lack of iron, but adding iron alone won't do the job. You see, it's more likely that this is actually a pH problem. What you do need to do is to use something to actually change the chemistry in the soil, to acidify it. And that's what we're going to do with this. So this is sulphate of iron. We'll just take a little cap like this and spread it around the base. Now I've put that down and I'm going to water it in thoroughly. These leaves are going to turn dark green. Lisa from Templestone, Victoria, joined us via YouTube and she asked about her apricot tree. She wants to prune it back to a manageable height. When is the best time to prune? And now is a pretty good time is the answer. I've one at home and I've just done exactly this too. It's all about shape. This is a great way to reduce height and improve growth. Agnes is from Wetherill Park in New South Wales and she's got a great question. She thinks her citrus have got leaf curl and in a way they have, but it's been caused by a little insect called the citrus leaf miner. Now, this is a moth that's active just on dusk and it comes and lays its little eggs right on the new growth buds. So my solution to this is to spray just on dusk when the moth is active. Now, the oil actually repels the moth away. And if there are any eggs laid in the epidermal layer of any of those new shoots, it suffocates them. Well, that's my favourite Facebook Live questions from this week's session. If you want your questions answered, all you have to do is join us every Monday at midday, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, and I'll answer your garden questions live.